So the next bus comes in 30 minutes. Oh man, what a pain in the ass wait time. Too long to sit here, too short to go do something else. Just hoping I can grab a drink at the end, but that won't give me enough time to really enjoy it. You shouldn't be drinking on the job in the first place, Randy. Something wrong? No, I just thought I heard something in the distance. I will try maximizing the sensitivity of my sensor in order to amplify the sound. Please be quiet for a moment. Sure thing. Sorry, everyone. Must have been my imagination. Don't worry about it, Tio. Do you think you could describe the sound to us? Well, well I could not confirm, I could this one I heard howling. Seriously? Do you think it was the monsters we're after? Please don't get your hopes up, I likely misheard it. Could have been a simple sensor malfunction. What should we do? Search the surrounding area for signs of wolves? Let me think. Tio, what's the range of your sensor? When operating normally, it should be around 50 cells. However, at times, certain atmospheric conditions will cause sound to carry for twice that distance. Damn, that far? Sounds like we won't be able to determine where the sound came from in that case. That's okay. In the meantime, we'll just have to keep your ears open. Um, all of you really believe I heard something? You said you heard it, right? Yes, I did say that. But when I'm able to hear things that the average person cannot, people typically assume I'm lying or have an overactive imagination. Maybe, maybe not. We all know that you're one in a million, Tio Tot. <laughs> Tio Tot? What? It's true. Plus, why wouldn't we believe you? Sure, we haven't known each other for long, but you were already saved us more times than I can count. I can't think of any reason to ever doubt you. I apologize, everyone. That question was silly of me to ask. Please forget about it if possible. Uh, sure, it's really not that big a deal. Ah, you're still here. Mr. Hayward! Are all of you about to head back to the city? Yeah, that's right. Are you doing the same, Mr. Hayward? Indeed I am. Now that I picked up some souvenirs for my wife and son, I'm ready to return home. Were all of you planning on taking the bus back? How long of a wait until the next one arrives? Unfortunately, it will be another half an hour according to your schedule. If you're waiting for the bus too, you're welcome to stand around and shoot the breeze with us. We'd be happy for the company. I appreciate the offer, but there should be just enough room for five. Can I offer you a ride instead? I'd be happy to drive all of you back to the city. Yo, my man Hayworth. With the purple hair. So I love it how no one commented on the Tio Tot name. Thank you for the ride back, Mr. Hayward. My pleasure. I was heading back to the city anyway. Man, you must really be rolling it in to be able to afford your own orbital car. Plus, I heard these things were still crazy expensive. I believe a vehicle of this model of manufacturer will cost, appro cost approximately 800,000 Mira. Wow, it's pretty impressive. Well, it's an invaluable tool for a trader like myself. I could take the bus, but transit time would end up bottlenecking business. So I decided to bite the bullet and get my own vehicle. I'm sure you had other reasons to buy it aside from business. For example, I bet it lets you get home to your family earlier. <laughs> you caught me. Ah, so there's the real reason. You even got gifts for him and everything. Is that what people call the ideal husband and father? Yeah. No, no, that's giving me far too much credit. I often have to go on business trips, so this is just my way of making it up to them for leaving home alone so often. How old is your son? He turns five years old this year. He's not quite at Sunday school age yet, but he's filled with curiosity. His mother certainly has her hands full with him, his constant questions and endless curiosity. I see. You all sound like a happy family. <laughs> yes, we are. Besides, we have to be happy. Mr. Hayward? Ah, don't mind me, just thinking out loud. 
Look, we should be close to the end of the old road now. One more right turn and then we're practically there. It's a wolf! A white wolf! It really does look like Lucide, though. Similar color scheme. Thank you again for driving us all the way back to the city, Mr. Hayworth. Ah, it was nothing. It was on the way, so why not travel in good company? Best of luck with your investigation. You got my full support. We appreciate it, sir. The best way to show your support will be calling on the SSS for any help you may need. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I, I, I saw that as yeah. I was like, my, my brain was like gonna say yeah, but then I saw the word yup, and I was like trying to combine the two words. It didn't go well. Yep. And if possible, let us know before you turn to the guild, yeah? You guys. My word, at least try to be a little subtle about it. <laughs> what? Someone's gotta do the PR on for us. Ain't that right, Tiota? Indeed, advertising is considered a crucial aspect of all business models. <laughs> That's true enough. If I'm ever in any trouble, I'll be sure to go straight to you. That reminds me, I have something for you that might come in handy. Then again, as police officers, you might find it unnecessary. Your crossbow city map is actually really helpful. A map of the city. Just a little something I put together last month to help tour guide tours around. Feel free to use it if it helps. This will be really nice to have when we're patrolling the city. We'll be sure to put it to good use. We really appreciate all your help, Mr. Hayward. Think nothing of it. I only wish I had something more to offer. Well then, we'll meet again. Good luck, all of you. I bet you this is going to let me fast travel. Which would really help. Getting around Crossbell. It's not every day you run into someone as nice as him. I agree. The skill of being an unrelenting people pleaser seems to rival even yours, Lloyd. Hey. Maybe, but don't forget, the guy is a traitor. I bet it takes more than being nice to run a successful business. Well, Mr. Hayward and his business seem to be prospering, all while still cooperating with local businesses. Most Crossbellian traders I know of try to make as much money as possible by trading abroad. I get the impression that traders like Mr. Hayward are fairly rare. Good point. Never thought of it that way. While he runs an honest business, groups like Ravash are as dirty as they come. That's just how Crossbow is nowadays. Yes, that may be true. People like Mr. Hayward show that Crossbell is, in, isn't all bad. He gives me hope. Me too, Ellie. Anyway, it's already past noon. How about we head back to the next place? Or head to the next place? Sounds like a good plan. St. Ursula Medical College, right? I believe we should head to the south exit in that case. Right, there should be a bus stop there we can use. From what I hear, they got buses heading to St. Ursula every 30 minutes. Oh, nice. Works for me. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head on over. Sounds good. St. Ursula. Not how I plan it, but I'm finally gonna see Cecile. Oh, we're gonna see Cecile? Let's go. Crossbow City map can now be opened. While inside the city, you can press options. It is options. If you're inside the city, you can use the map as a shortcut to tra short travel around everywhere. Select an area list. Alright, cool, cool. This is what I wanted, and I'm glad we have it. Region map. First, I want to go to this uh, Orbman shop, because we probably have a lot of stuff to do with Orbmans. Not you, it's Wendy. It's Wendy. Every time it's Wendy. Open another slot for Randy. these slots for these two. Move evade? Maybe even getting an impede would be good? I don't have an impede yet. 
place enemies on the mini map. A lot of um, a lot of separate to buy that. Give me a mind. Maybe one of these two. Definitely want to put detection on Randy. Because he doesn't really need much anyway. I'm going to slap this impede on Lloyd. Press square to see what arts they have. That's kind of cool. Chrono down. Forte, you have Forte now, which is good. Let's go ahead and sparkle tear, yada yada. You have blue drop and innocent arc. Cobalt spear. Alright. Oh yeah, I did see change cover. What what is replace covers? Who do you wish to change? I need Mira for starters. Not that much, Seven. Blue Sheriff, screen. Covers for Lloyd after purchasing the Orbin cover. Oh, it changes the cover of the Orbin thing. Do you like that? It shows me a picture. Let's get this one for Ellie. That's a nice one. Maybe later when I add more mirror, I'll change the other covers. Now, I need to remember... Where is the bakery again? Because we need that. I want to start that. I want to see if I have all the ingredients for that ingredient quest. Oh, it's, more, it's right here. Never mind. <laughs> the sign is just really hard to read. Hey Lloyd, back again already. You in the mood to chow down on some bread? Not quite. Instead of chowing down, don't you think we have something else to attend to? You sent a request to the SSS, right? Huh? Did I? Please notify any Oscars on the premises of our arrival. Come on, Oscar, we're on the job here. Oh yeah, I remember now. I wanted to see if you guys could help me gather some ingredients for a new kind of bread. Our usual supplier's been running late, so we're kind of low on stock. Gotcha. Well, you certainly can't bake without any ingredients. You could say that again, so you guys mind lending me a hand? That's all there is to it, you can leave it to us, Oscar. What kind of ingredients are you looking for? I got plenty of butter and flour. I want you to gather four pieces of fish filet and three monster eggs if you're up to the challenge. That's it? We can snatch those right up on the outskirts of town, no sweat. That's convenient. We'll try gathering them as we deal with other support requests. I have four monster eggs. I probably just need the other thing. Maybe I have it. It's fish fillet, so I'm missing. I'm missing the fish fillet. Should be able to get those fillets off of some of the fishy monsters. Okay, we already got the eggs. We just need to um. Also, should have quite a number of items. Okay. So we just need the fish fillet, which we'll get as we do the other request. Take me to the SSS. I don't know if they add new requests. As we do chapter one here. No, this isn't what I wanted. Okay, they do not. These are still medium though. Alright. 
I guess all there really is to do is we could start the other side quest, but also... We have time, so I think I'm gonna go start heading down to Ursula Road. Airport. Looks like the next bus is scheduled to leave in 10 minutes. Ah, oh, good. We won't have to wait too long then. It's been a while since I last visited St. Ursula. Same here. I actually intended to visit soon, but we've just been so busy. You did? Why? I'm feeling under the weather? Now I have a friend who works there. Someone who's already been there for me. Who's always been there for me. We've been meaning to see each other since I got back. We were both so busy with work we kept putting it off. Well, I'm glad you'll have the chance to see each other now. If your friend's working at the hospital, does that make him a doctor or something? A nurse, actually. Apparently she's in charge of the younger staff, so she's always extremely busy. Excuse me? Did you just say... A nurse? As in one of those sweet gals who pampers you as she takes your temperature with those tight little uniforms and everything? Randy, why? What? Uh, they do have to wear uniforms, sure, but... So, how old is she, huh? Oh, she's five years older than me, so that make her 23 now. We were next door neighbors for a long time, long time, so she's basically like a sister to me. She a looker? <laughs> uh, well, sure, I suppose. So, to recap, she's two years older than me, she's hot, and she's pretty much always wearing a nurse's uniform. It's time to look alive, Randy Orlando. You were born for this very moment. Man, what I do to deserve this happiness. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, buddy old pal. Looking forward to the glowing introduction, wingman. Um, no. Why are you guys always like this? Hey, whoa, don't lump me in with him. Something the matter, Tio? You seem like you've been lost in thought for a while now. Oh, it's nothing. I'm simply not especially fond of hospitals. The smell of antiseptic and the sight of needles in particular. I see. You think you'll be okay? If you want to stay, be. There are no issues. It's merely a dislike. It's not as if I have a phobia of hospitals. For your sake, I hope you were not about to give me permission to sit out. Yeah, yeah, of course not. That was a close one. I'll need to watch what I say around her. Besides, I would also like to meet your friend, Lloyd. I assume she was the one you were so happily speaking with on the phone. How'd you know about that? Two of you must be really close if you think of her as your sister. I'm really looking forward to meeting her now. For real. As far as I'm concerned, she's the main event waiting for us there. You guys, don't forget about the investigation. Oh my word. The bus still isn't here. It's already been 30 minutes. What's the deal, Lloyd? Didn't you say it was coming in 10? Don't look at me. This is strange, though. The bus shouldn't be this late. I was afraid of this happening. What are we gonna do? Why is it 20 minutes late? I tried contacting them, but they wouldn't even pick up the stupid phone. Excuse me, there's something wrong with the bus. It's rare for the bus line to fall this far behind schedule. Yeah, they've apparently run into some trouble on the road. We got a call from the driver about it. But before he could tell me what was going on, the line cut out and I couldn't get back in contact. That mean... I sense trouble. By the way, who are you working for? Ah, oh, me? I'm with the Crossbow Transportation Division. We oversee the entirety of the bus, bus service across the state. This probably isn't something to contact the CGF about, so I guess we'll have to rely on the Bracer Guild again. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, I think so. Uh, what other option do we have? Date comes knocking again, huh? Excuse me, would you mind letting us take care of this? Huh? Why? Who are you guys? Crossbow Police Department, Special Support Section. We were actually on our way to the hospital as part of an investigation. Really? You guys are police officers? Oh, I'm pretty sure I've read about you guys in some magazine. Something about the CPD starting a civil service branch that's basically like the guild. 
well, we're not exactly the same as the guild. We could definitely, we could definitely go and assess the situation for you. Well, okay, I don't see any harm in it. I'll leave it to you guys then. Should I call some bracers in for backup? No, I don't think that'll be necessary. Let's go, everyone. Right. Let's get moving. Understood. Ursula Road. Give me some fish enemy. I feel like we're gonna find some fish enemies because we're near the water. We're near the coast. 